you must have heard about David Michener, a 89-year-old resident of Surrey, UK, who died because of high levels of vitamin D in his body. David was on vitamin D supplements nine months prior to his death. This case has caused an uproar on the internet, as you must have read about, which brings us to today's Body A to Z segment, where we'll understand that can overdosing vitamin D kill you? Vitamin D toxicity is rare, but it does occur with extremely high doses. It usually develops over time since extra vitamin D can build up in your body. Nearly all vitamin D overdoses result from taking high doses of vitamin D supplements. As it is almost impossible to get too much of vitamin D from sunlight or from your food. Before we dive into vitamin D toxicity, let's decode what vitamin D is. Vitamin D, also called as calciferol, that is naturally present in a few foods, is available as a dietary supplement. It is important for performing various biological functions in the body and helps in maintaining overall health by regulating calcium and phosphorus absorption, supports bone health and modulates immune functions. It helps in promoting strong bone and teeth health reduces the risk of osteoporosis and supports muscle functions. Additionally, vitamin D is believed to have anti-inflammatory properties and may contribute to reducing the risk of certain chronic diseases, including cardiovascular disease, autoimmune disorders and some cancers, though the research is still going on. Adequate levels of vitamin D are essential for optimal health and deficiency can lead to various health problems, making it important to ensure sufficient intake through sunlight exposure, dietary sources or supplements. The main source of vitamin D is UV rays of the sun, which strikes the skin. Certain foods such as mushroom, milk, fatty fish, bananas and oranges are also said to have good amount of vitamin D. But what is vitamin D? Vitamin D is a fat-soluble vitamin. In contrast to water-soluble vitamins, your body has no easy way to get rid of this fat-soluble vitamin. For this reason alone, excessive amounts may build in your body when one consumes too many supplements. That is when vitamin D can be caused. According to Harvard, the recommended consumption level of vitamin D for a healthy functioning human being is between 600 to 800 IU every day. And it should not exceed to more than 4,000 units per day. It is advised to take vitamin D supplements daily, but not more than 4,000 international units, unless it is being monitored under the supervision of a doctor. Now let's talk about vitamin D toxicity. Vitamin D plays a crucial role in calcium absorption. However, excess vitamin D intake can lead to high levels of calcium in the blood, known as hypercalcemia. This can cause symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, constipation, weakness, excessive thirst, frequent urination, and in several cases, it may also result in kidney stones or kidney damage. Prolonged high levels of calcium can lead to deposition of calcium in soft tissues like the heart, lungs, and blood vessels, also in the kidneys. This can adversely affect their functioning and can lead to conditions such as cardiovascular diseases, pulmonary fibrosis and kidney damage. It can also irritate the digestive system leading to systems such as stomach pain, bloating, diarrhea, loss of appetite, muscle weakness, cramps and pain. To conclude, the vitamin D toxicity is rare. Its treatment primarily involves stopping vitamin D supplementation only when your doctor advises you to, as it might help in flushing out excessive calcium that is being built in your body. Close monitoring by your healthcare professional is essential to ensure that calcium levels are returned to normal and to prevent further complications of other organs. Therefore, see your doctor if you face any of these signs so that quicker blood test and physical examination can be conducted. That's it for this week. I'll see you in the next episode.